Hello, good morning, dear students. Hope all of you are keeping fine and doing well. Once again, we are in the online classes or YouTube classes. Unfortunately, uh, as the COVID is spreading rapidly, we are really helpless. Thus, once again, we are uh, back in the old system of e-learning. So, dear students, uh, today I would like to receive our class from where we have stopped. Let me remind you about the previous class what we have already learned. See, we are we were learning uh, English literature, chapter number seven, that is Gorilla in the Glass Room. Almost uh, half of the way we have done. And let me remind you about what we have already learned, that is points that are already covered or we are going to cover. So, love for wild life. By whom is Gerald Burel. So, his love for wild life, that point already we have discussed. And efforts to get the baby gorilla. The second point, how he managed to get a baby gorilla in his uh, zoo. Then third one, public support. With the support of the public, especially with the financial support of Major Domo, our Buren was able to get a baby gorilla for his uh, zoo. And the method he applied uh, to buy a baby gorilla, uh, share by share, that was something interesting. Then the audience visit to London. He plans to visit London Airport and that was the place where uh, the animal dealer had told our bureau to collect the animal. Then the, such a way the male baby gorilla comes into the life of our Gerald Burel uh, and this baby gorilla's name is N. Pongo. Pongo, let us say Pongo. And Pongo's in the Gasundas as he brought, as the author brought baby gorilla, he did not uh, directly take the baby gorilla into a zoo, but he kept the baby gorilla in his own guest room for a couple of weeks and months. Then, of course, the next point that is the place we have seen. Then, Yen Pongo's general disposition. This is what something attractive to the character and personality of this baby gorilla. So, Yen Pongo's general disposition, the general behavior which attracted his own mother as well as his vinegar uh, tempered wife Jennifer. So, these are the points we have already discussed, and today in this class, we will be focusing our attention to these two points that is uh, a mate for Pongo. A mate means all that is searching for a mate because he did not want to get these animals extinct. Thus he tried to get a baby gorilla and then finally he, he is successful in getting a baby a gorilla companion for a mate for our Pongo and her name is Nandi. What a beautiful name, isn't it? Pongo and in Pongo and in Nandi. In Pongo and Nandi. And then two gorillas are put in the same cage. The last point we are going to discuss that is uh, uh, two gorillas are put in the same cage. Uh, and uh, you know, of all these, uh, all these two animals, in Pongo was rather funny, like a comedian. He always used to tease and make fun of her, his mate Nandi. And finally, uh, this uh, Pongo falls sick and he stops eating, his energy is smaller, everything is lost, and the author becomes so much anxious and worried about the ill health of our Pongo. And finally, by the grace of God, we can say in Bongo is recovered from his illness and material satisfaction. That is the 
lesson we are going to learn and dear students let me take your attention once again today we are going to learn this seven eight nine points these are the points of the attention of the class today um uh, let me remind you about uh, the things that already you have learned and i have already explained you the things and now we are on page number 80 your textbook page number 80 uh, that is it's almost from the top of the paragraph i will uh, read that you will see uh, every every fine afternoon he was brought out on the lawn in front of the view hedge and there he would show off to his admirers uh, either lolling uh, in the grass with a broad expression on his face or with a wicked glint in his eye working out how he could pose for his photograph to be taken by some honest visitor and the rush forward at the crucial moment grasp the unfortunate person's leg and push it down under him a task that gave him immense amusement and generally resulted in the visitor sustaining a slip disc and having an excellent picture of a completely empty section of lot so what was the type of behavior that in pogo used to do when he was brought out to the lawn for his play relaxation and so forth so he sometimes he used to roll in the ground roll and somersault in the uh, lawn and sometimes he would just sit in a stylish way pose for the photo and sometimes he would just run and pull the leg of the visitor and probably causing him some kind of injuries and so so such a way in pogo was really a comic fellow a comedian means which attracted the attention of almost all so moving to the next paragraph within 12 months in pogo had almost doubled his size and i felt it was now time to try by fair means or foul to obtain a mate for him so this is the point so a mate for in pogo means within uh within uh 12 months time within a year he became he grew up almost double of his size and father thought it is uh, uh better to get a mate for him a companion unless they like uh, finances i have no use for zoos that acquire animals purely for exhibition and make no effort to provide them with a mate this applies particularly to apes the problem does not arise when they are young for they accept the human beings around them as their adopted a slightly eccentric family then comes the time when they are so pow powerful that you do not if you have any intelligence treat them in the same intimate way see when this they are babies gorillas are babies little ones they like to stay with the company of humans but at the same time as they grow up that they cannot be kept with the humans because of various reasons so uh, intelligently our author durel gerald durel thought of uh, getting a mate for our pongo when a gorilla or chimpanzee or an orangutan great ape orangutan is a great ape at the age of 3 or 4 pulls your legs uh, from under you or jumps from a considerable height onto the back of your neck it does your standard to the full and is done because you are the only companion with whom he can play when this type of animals just pull your leg or just consider jumping on your shoulder uh, from a considerable height and so on definitely it will be the testing of your strength and stamina but at the same time 
you may not be able to survive such type of funny play and they used to do all those things because they don't have any other companion their own mates if he is left on his own and he is a nice natured kid he will try to play the same games with you when he is 11 or 12 means at the age also at the great age also after becoming 11 or 12 years old also oh, um, they may continue to, to the play his mean uh, his means a uh, this means a broken leg or a broken neck if this type of animals continue to behave in such a way definitely there is a chance of you are breaking neck or legs so if this friendly exuberant animal is kept on his own and deprived of both the company of his own kind and that of human beings you can hardly be surprised if he turns into more than a melancholy creature if he is after growing up if these animals are definitely kept separate kept separate definitely then they will grow like a melancholic person a morose person that means a morose person unhappy or unhappy or sad or sad creature the animal would become why because it is time for them to get their playmate intimate friend not wanting to see in pogo degenerate into one of those magnificent but sad and lonely anthropoids that i have seen in many zoos including some that had ample resources for providing a meal i thought the time had come to try to procure a wife for pongo even though i knew that our funds would probably not stretch that far so that is the reason you have to understand why our uh, general durez uh, did not want our yen pongo to grow as a morse or a lonely or a melancholic animal so he want him to be in his true character true nature thus though there was not sufficient fund for him to get a friend a friend made animal for pongo he tried to get it is like the the decision of a parent parent uh, when they realize that it is time for their children son and daughter to get married they arrange marriage same way our uh, durer being the guardian and the parent of our yen pongo he thought of procuring getting a wife for our pongo because he did not want pongo to grow as a melancholic or a sad creature i telephoned the dealer from whom we had got a yen pongo and asked him about the possibilities of obtaining a female gorilla thus keeping in this mind our durel contacted telephoned the same dealer from where from whom he had received our pongo and inquired about it he told me he had just been offered one a year or so younger than yen pongo but now owing to the political situation in africa the price had increased and he was asking 1500 pounds so the same animal dealer told that there is a baby gorilla just one year younger than our pongo but the price has gone up little bit that he was asking for 1500 pounds remember our pongo yen pongo he was bought for 1200 pounds and then uh, this new animal right has gone uh, by 300 pounds more that is 1500 therefore on two days of uh, soul searching i knew we could not afford that amount of money net lump sum total amount total payment uh, lump sum but we might be able to do it if it were spread over a period so as there was no ready cash for him what he decided what our our 
Durrell tried. He tried to get the animal on the installment basis because there was no ready cash for him. Let us see. Once again, I telephoned the dealer and asked him whether he would consider letting us have the animal on installment terms. That means, kiss to pay, kiss to pay. Yes. To his credit and to my relief, he agreed and said that his representative would bring her over to Jersey in a week's time. So, finally, it was told that. Uh, uh, that within one week's time he was ready to get the animal and such a way uh, our young Congo, our young Congo is getting a mate for his wife that is her name is Nandi. Yen Congo is the name of the baby gorilla, male gorilla and Nandi is future wife. Let us see. So thus our Durel almost tried to get his animal on the installment basis. So within a week's time, they are, it was agreed that they will arrange the uh, animal in the jersey. The whole zoo waited for that day and with baited bread. That means waiting, controlled bread. Baited bread means the control. We eagerly wait for someone. Yes, we all sometimes uh, wait for uh, wait with our baited bread. Means eagerly wait for something. I prompted by a slightly acrimonious conversation, critical, that is disliking, critical acrimonious conversation with my bank manager spent the week by having a collecting box made over which from the notice we have brought Nandi on the installment plan. On the installment basis we are going to get the exactly for more. The name is very important. Nandi, we are going to, so they arrange a box, a collection box, donation box, that is installment plan. Please help us to keep up the installment. So Nandi arrived, crowns, that is bending, crowns means bending in a crate, crate means packing box, that I would have considered small for a squirrel. Squirrel means small. Squirrel, you know, Gilhari, yes. She, like Enkongo, appeared to be a perfect condition, in perfect condition, like Enkongo, she was also in perfect condition. Her fur was glossy, glossy but shiny. She was fat and her skin had a sheen like satin, but at first sight of her, it was her eyes that impressed me most. Her, her eyes was very attractive. In Congo's eyes, as I have said, were small and deep set, calculating and full of humor. Means looking at the face of a person, looking at the eyes of a person, we can almost read his face, what type of person that he or she is. So our in Congo's eyes were deep set, deep set in her inside. <coughs> Nandi's eyes were large and lustrous. Lustrous means shiny, bright, splendor. And when she looked sideways, she showed the whites on them. She turned like this sideways, then showed the whites on them. But they were frightened eyes that did not look at you uh, squarely, freely. Means Nandi had the beautiful eyes, but at the same time it was a uh, the look of a frightened eye. They were the eyes of an animal that had little experience of human beings, but even that limited experience had given her no reason to trust or respect them because of her bad experience. Some bad experience, of course, she uh, she was not so friendly with human beings and what experience she had that was so frightening. When we released her from the cage, I could see the reason right across the top of her skull was a scar. Yes, C C A R. Yes, uh, C A R. A cut mark or a wound mark on the skull. 
which must have measured six or seven inches in length. Six or seven inches in length. Length. That was my, that must have been the reason why Nandi was so frightening, so uh, frightening looking. You can say. So that may be the reason why she was not so friendly with the humans. Obviously, when she was being caught, some over enthusiastic and intrepid human being had given her a blow with a machete which had split her skull like a razor slag. That means long knife. Machete is a long, long knife. Then probably that would must have happened when uh, some people attempted to catch her and with their long knife the skull came, the, uh, the moon mark in the skull came on her skull. It must have been a glancing blow or her skull would have been split in two. With such an introduction to the human race, you would hardly blame Nandi for being a little anti-social. So with such an experience, Nandi did not give much friendship to our human beings. Because that was the, because of her bitter, bad, painful experience. She became rather anti-social, let us say. This great slash was by now completely healed. But this wound is completely healed and there was only the long white scar to be seen through the hair of her head. But this scar mark that insertion mark that would be seen. The wound is still, but that cut mark was visible, which reminded me of the curious, imitative, and quite unnecessary partings that so many Africans curl in their hair with the aid of a razor. You may have seen some African people leaving a beautiful uh, marking on their uh, head and so on with uh, the razor. Same way, sometimes uh, uh, some uh, West Indies cricket, uh, cricketers or uh, our Serena Williams and so on, how she used to make the beautiful depressions of her face. Mm -hmm. that, that, uh, we kept Nandi in a separate cage for 24 hours, almost for 24 hours. Nandi was kept on a separate cage so that she could settle down for cooling, for settling down. The cage was nest to Yenpongos to enable her to see her future husband. See, Yenpongos cage was so close to Nandi so, so that Nandi could see her future husband. But she evinced as little interest. She did not show any interest in him as she evinced in us. She did not show much interest on her and all. If you try to talk to her and look directly at her face, her eyes would slide from side to side, meeting your eyes only for a sufficient length of time to judge what your next action might be. She would just look at you for a short time, then just observe what you are going to do next. Eventually deciding that the wire between herself and us rendered us temerity harmless and preferring not to look at us she did turn her back so she would turn her back she won't show much interest she had such a bobo frightened face that one longed to be able to pick her up and comfort her but she feared sorrow we forgot woke be gone, that is, but she had been too deeply hurt, and this was the last thing she would have appreciated. It would take us, I reckon, roughly at least six months to gain her confidence, almost to, for the order, almost six months time, six months time to get, get in good relation, good relation with our nanny. I reckon roughly at least six months to gain her confidence, even with the example of the pro-human Yen Pongo. So that is the way it goes. Just one more paragraph. 
the two more classes will be. The morning when we <coughs> excuse me for that. The morning when we let her in the cage with Enpogo was a red letter day. The day finally came that Nandi was sent into the same cage of Pongo. That was an important day. But fraud with anxiety, but it was a fighting day, anxious day. He had by now become so well established and was such a fearfully extroverted character that he obviously considered he was the only gorilla in the world and all human beings were his friends. So he became such a proudy and Pongo became such a proudy animal. That means he thought all the human beings are only his friends. We did not know how he would react in Andy's surveillance and Andy human attitude. We did not know exactly and that is surveillance and anti human attitude. Although for 24 hours he could see her in the cage alongside him, he had shown absolutely no interest in her presence. So, though Pongo also had seen her, he also did not show much interest in her. Thus, when the great moment of introduction came, we stood by with buckets of water, brushes, nets and long sticks just in case the engagement party did not come off with the same romantic swing that one expects from reading women's magazines. So, they were ready. The moment when Nandi was put in the same cage, other zoo members, they were ready with all sorts of discerned water, brushes, nets and long sticks. Uh, just in case the engagement party, no rather that engagement party did not come with the expectation of this one. When all was ready, we opened the shutters and Nandi, looking then thoroughly uh, distrustful, slided her way from the small cage into Yenpoko's comparatively palatial quarter. So finally and slowly, Yenpoko entered the Yenpoko entered the quarter or the cage of this one. There she put her back to the wall and squatted, her eyes darting to and fro with a curiously suspicious yet malignant expression on her face. So unpleasantly she just entered the cage of this one. Now that she was actually in the cage with Enkongo, who was sitting up on the branch, watching her with the same expression of uninterested mistrust that he reserved for some expression and uninterested mistrust that he reserved for some new item of time, we could see that she was very much smaller than he and actually the size of that Nandi. In fact, only about half his size, they sat steadily contemplating each other for some minutes while we on the other side of the wire did hasty uh, checks to make sure that all our buckets of water and so on were easily accessible. So, dear students, so finally what we have learned is that our uh, Pongo's wife, that means that is put inside the cage of Pongo and their behavior, that is what we have learned. So, uh, oh, this is the summary already I have written here in the class, the points which we have covered from 1 to uh, 9. See, almost 10 points we have covered here. Now, the last part is remaining that will take for another uh, one uh, class that we will be able to complete. Hope you have understood. Please do learn uh, by reading and do present this video. Hope everything is clear for you. Any kind of clarification and so on, please feel free to go back to me, uh, write your doubts, clarification, then I will uh, let you know about it. Soon I will be uploading this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.